of the trip to the winter meetings is a homecoming for Kevin Reese, a San Diego native who played for the Yankees in 2005 and 2006. Now he has a key role in their front office as vice president of player development. Here he is with Jack and Meredith. Thanks, Bob. Kevin, certainly you are no stranger to San Diego. You went to college here. You're back now. What does it feel like to be back for you, and just how busy has it been for you so far? Uh, it, it's awesome to be back here, uh, both at the winter meetings and at home in San Diego. Uh, always something exciting, you know, whether it's working on staffing uh, situations with our minor league coaches and staff or, uh, you know, talking trades and, and free agents like uh, everybody knows we're talking about now. We know that this was your home but we also know that you spent almost half your life in the Yankee organization and as we look at that Yankee organization right now there are so many names that people get excited about I'm going to start out with one of them Yankee fans got to look at Peraza at the major league level last season where do you see the near future going for him and what do you like about him as a player well, I mean, one of the things that we like about him is he can do a little bit of everything, uh, whether it's on the defensive side, running the bases, hitting for power. Um, you know, we're trying to create players that or help build players that uh, that can do a little bit of everything. So whether it's moving around the field a little bit, whether it's, you know, moving runners or dropping down an occasional bunt, uh, you know, he's doing exciting things, stealing bases. Um, and, and that's something that I think Yankee fans can be excited to look forward to. Another player that certainly has created a lot of buzz has been Anthony Volpe. Where is he at right now in his development we heard his name a lot towards the end of last season people wondering whether or not they would see him when do you think we could potentially see him in the big uh, any day any day he is physically uh, knocking on the door he, he reported down to Tampa he's been working out with our guys at the complex there and uh, I mean you know depending on who you ask he's ready yesterday he's ready tomorrow uh, he's a great kid that is always you know just looking to help the team any way he can and and he's ready what is it about his skill set that impresses you uh, I mean, I think it's a combination of just general skills and, and ability on the field, but also a calmness that you don't see from young players very often. Um, he can do, again, like, like Peraza, he's, he's stolen a ton of bases. He's hit for power. He fits in with, with whatever group it is, uh, players from different backgrounds, uh, even pitchers who, you know, sometimes position players don't like hanging out with too much. So uh, he fits in really well, and, and I think he'll fit in on that big league club when the time comes. Kevin, Jason Dominguez played at three levels last season. We got to see that blend of power and of speed. What excites you the most when you get the opportunity to see him play? I think the biggest thing that excites me the most is just his growth throughout the season. You know, I think we talked previously about the, the lack of games that he had played, you know, dealing with the pandemic and things like that. Uh, he got a lot of games under his belt, played in the fall league as well. And uh, his play discipline really improved as the season went on. And that just allowed him to tap into his power and his abilities even more. Uh, and that's something that's really special from a young player like him. Peraza, Volpe, Dominguez, who you just spoke about, some of the crown jewels of the Yankees farm system right now. But who should fans know about? Who's a guy that's maybe a little bit of a sleeper that they should know about? Uh, sleepers are always tough. Uh, Johnny Brito was added to the roster. Um, he's somebody to be excited about. He can pitch out of the bullpen. He can start. Um, I think he's going to affect our roster this year. Uh, not necessarily a sleeper, but Spencer Jones, our first-round pick this year, really exciting. Um, people make comps to, to judge simply because of his size and athleticism, but he's got a great demeanor about him as well, and I think he's somebody for Yankee fans to look forward to seeing. Before you escape, I did want to ask you quickly about uh, Cabrera because he came up last season and and there were some moments where he struggled, yet he never lost confidence. Where do you think that poise comes from, and how proud are you when a player does get to the major league level and doesn't allow the game to speed up on him? I mean, credit to his family and his upbringing, uh, credit to our coaches along the way, because, you know, it's, it's not always a, a clean, smooth road to get to the big leagues. He wasn't, you know, a top, top prospect throughout his career, but he grinded it out. He improved in all aspects and all facets. He improved his body comp and his strength and everything. And and I think that just having that confidence, you know, knowing the work ethic, relying on all the work that you put in to get where you are helps you deal with some bumps on the road as well. Kevin, we know you are a busy man, but as always, thank you for joining us.